Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Wednesday, February 5th, 2020. Free pick coming up in just a moment. Hey, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, click on the link below the video in that description box. Get set up for a free $60 account, and you can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages at DocSports.com or anybody else on the roster. Again, it's a free $60 account. Consider it a great way to give DocSports.com a trial run. Again, just click on the link below the video to get yourself set up for the free $60 account. All right, here's what we got going on. Well, first of all, what happened last night? Nice three and one overall. Uh, the wins were nice. We cashed with the Milwaukee Bucks. They get us the win in the NBA. We cashed with Rutgers plus the points. We had an NHL winner with the Islanders, but I did not see Sparty losing to Penn State outright. You know, there's always that chance when you're laying four buckets that you got a shot to lose the game against the spread. Uh, that could happen. But what losing outright at home. Second straight loss for Michigan State. Tom Izzo usually really good in those spots, uh, but they did take the loss. So 3-1 and one overall will take 75% every day of the week. And uh, now we go into a Wednesday's card where we've got two premium picks in college basketball. They're both going to be available at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. Anytime after that, I'm going to pass in the NHL. Just a two-game card. Don't like either one. I don't like the fact that it looks like it's going to be Hutchinson, excuse me, in net for Toronto. We were thinking about playing the Leafs, but uh, going to pass that one. And then as far as the NBA, we've got a big one. A seven-unit play going in Wednesday night's NBA action. We are 6-2, 75% in 2020 with our NBA plays run in seven and six units. And we're on a 73% overall NBA run after last night's win with the Bucks. All available on Wednesday, the NBA at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific time and every minute after, right up until tip off. All right, let's get to it. Let's talk a little bit about some Big Ten basketball uh, on Wednesday's card. It's the matchup between Wisconsin and Minnesota. Uh, Gophers laying about three and a half points as I cut this video. Listen, the Badgers are going to head into this game off the big win against Michigan State, but Whiskey has covered just three of their last 11 on the road. Uh, normally a tad overvalued when they travel away from Madison, and that's why they are just you know three wins in the last 11 on the road against the spread. At the same time, you got a Minnesota team that, you know, over the last 14 games at home have protected home court well, uh, going 10 and 4 against the spread at the barn. Uh, they've been decent to the Banco off a straight up loss, also, which is the situation uh, for the Gophers in this one. And when I look at Whiskey, I see some rebounding issues at times. I see a problem when it comes to free throw attempts to field goal attempts ratio on the offensive end. And that kind of a metric is, you know, kind of rears its ugly head more often on the road than it does at home. I think that's going to be the situation here. And we're going to recommend a play on Minnesota minus the points over Wisconsin. Again, the Golden Gophers at home over the Badgers on a Wednesday night. All right, don't forget about all the plays on Wednesday. We look to go 3-0, 2 from college basketball, plus that seven-star play in the NBA. Looking to extend the run with our elite-level NBA plays to 7-2 and two this calendar year. Go grab it today only at DocSports.com. Hey, if you like the videos, click on the thumbs-up button. Be sure to subscribe. Check out my other free pick video from college basketball on Wednesday. It'll be up and available also. And uh, listen, we'll be right back here Thursday morning, 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific. Going to talk some XFL, the new football league. So check us out on Thursday.